Welcome everybody. What I'd like to show you today is the new version of my app AnyFont which lets you install new fonts on your iOS device. So when you launch AnyFont for the first time you will notice that it is basically empty and you get that note that you have to um, add new fonts in TTF or OTF format first or you can even do that um, compressed within a zip file. And I'm going to show you how to do that so let's hit OK here and um, quit any font and go into mail and I have sent me that uh, little mail which contains a font called Cambria TTF and we just uh, need to tap on that to bring up that uh, dialog where we can say open in any font and we can just do that now and what happens is that we are taken back to any font and boom there it is Cambria TTF already within our list um, and I've told you that we can also do that with a zip file and uh, I'm going to show you that next so let's go into Dropbox and uh, I have that file Calibri.zip here uh, which contains all those shapes of uh, Calibri uh, within just one file and when we tap on that um, Dropbox will decompress it and will then tell us that it couldn't load that file. So uh, we can hit that little button in the lower left hand corner which brings up a dialog where we can say again open in and we do that and we can then select uh, again open in any font and when we do that all those files contained within that zip file so all that Calibri shapes are now in our list and uh, we can install them from there. Uh, but before we do that uh, let me just uh, take you to um, pages where I can show you that those fonts are currently not present on our device. So uh, let's open that uh, document, uh, go into text options and then in the font selection menu and there you can see that uh, there is currently no Calibri or no Cambria font installed on this device. And um, to do so we of course have to go back to any font and we do that now so uh, let's open any font and you have now basically two options to install a new font. So when we tap on Cambria TTF we're taken to uh, this little screen with a big icon on it. When we tap on that this font will actually be installed. But uh, in the upper right hand corner we have also a preview button which lets um, us uh, see a little preview of that font. So uh, you can preview the font before installing it. And when we uh, tap on that big icon in the middle of the screen, we are actually taken um, to the uh, installation progress. And we have to hit install again here to install this configuration profile. And uh, when we do so, we will get this warning that this configuration profile installs the font camera TTF. This is actually what we want to do. And this font, uh, this profile um, will change settings on your phone. Uh, this is also what we're going to do. We want to install a new font. So uh, let's hit the install button in the upper right uh, corner. Uh, type in our passcode um, 0000 in this case. And uh, boom, we're done. We hit the done button in the upper right hand corner and we are then taken back to um, any font. Um, you can also install multiple fonts in just one step. So when we just uh, want to install those Calibri fonts um, on our device, we can hit the button in the middle of the top bar, uh, which will then let us select um, um, multiple fonts and we want to select now all those Calibri fonts and then hit the install button in the upper right corner and we're again taken to uh, this, this uh, screen where we tap on that icon again uh, which brings us to the installation progress and when we hit more details on this screen we will see that this um, configuration profile actually contains all those Calibri uh, shapes. So we hit install again, uh, see that warning, um, type in our passcode and now uh, we have installed all those Calibri fonts on our device. And I can show you that um, when we go back to uh, pages now. So uh, let's quit any font and go to pages here. And um, what we need to do first is we have to remove it from the background and start it again so it can load all those new fonts um, which we just have installed. And when we open that empty document again, hit the brush button in the top 
bar, go to text options, then uh, the font selection menu, and you will see now that we uh, have just installed Cambria and Calibri on our device. And you can just select them and type your uh, text in this uh, with those new fonts. And you can also type on, tap on that um, little info button next to Calibri there, which will then let you uh, select all those shapes of Calibri. So Calibri Light, Calibri Bold, regular stuff like that. So we have now installed new fonts on our uh, device which we can use in several apps like Pages for example and you can also delete those fonts again from any fonts app storage which will not uninstall them from your device but uh, it will free up some space on your device by deleting them from the app storage and you can do so by swiping over an entry in this list and then hit the delete button or you can use uh, the button in the middle of the top bar again and when you hit that it will let you select the fonts you want to uh, delete Let's say we keep those two and then hit the delete button, confirm, and now they are deleted from your device and don't use any more space on your device. To uninstall a font from your device, uh, you need to go to the settings app and uh, then, whoops, then let's go to um, general and down here to profiles and there you will see that we have two configuration profiles called Cambria TTF and multiple fonts which we have just installed on our device. And to uninstall a font you um, hit that um, configuration profile, tap the remove button, uh, type in your passcode and then it is deleted and the font is also uninstalled from your device. So let's keep um, that um, Calibri multiple font uh, profile for now. And um, to make the fonts disappear from um, the font list within your app, you have again um, to, to remove it from the background by tapping the, double, uh, the, the home button twice, swipe it out, and then launch the app again. And when we go into that empty document again, hit the brush button in the top bar, go to text options, the font selection menu, you will now see that Calibri is still present because we have not removed it uh, from the configuration profiles, but Cambria is now gone from our list. So that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching and you can buy any font on the App Store worldwide. Hope you like it.